What up y'all, it's the Jeff Wilson here at the Texas Fish Room. I'm tired of seeing these tanks sitting on the floor, so we gotta do something about that today. Finally got the stands made. We got the tank sitting on the stands. Now we're starting to fill these things up along with getting these two 125s on stands. We also got the big 200 on a stand. So we're slowly making progress in here. Let's get some water in these and we'll show you what I'm going to be doing next with them. Well, so far on this first tank, what I've done, I've added some, we got sand on half of it, and we got some gravel on the other half. With this rock pile, I'm building up in the center. You have to see what I got. Hopefully gonna work for this plan, I don't know. It's just something I'm trying out just to see how they act, but Give me a little bit and y'all get to see what's actually going in this. It's almost full. It's getting there. Forgot how long it takes to fill up 125s from being empty. But I'm liking this already and I still have more to put into it. Just got to break down the other tank that what's going in here will go in here. So I can bring over there other stuff as well so on this first tank we're trying to jump start the cycle I have a used intake sponge from another tank and all that media in there is from another tank which this whole filter was on a whole other tank it came off of the 75 with my angels See, there's a lot of gunk in there floating around. It'd give it time to clear right back up once this gets going good. I do plan to put another filter on the other side of it, but that's gonna be for the fish that are going into this aquarium, which hopefully I'll be putting in here sometime tomorrow. Well, we now have this tank all decorated what I ended up doing is removing some of the decorations out of some of the, some of the other tanks I had. Some of the rocks I've had laying around, as well as just a random plant that decided to start floating in another aquarium. And even more decorations from another tank. So with this, it's also gonna help with getting the cycle going in this aquarium, which I did put some other stuff in here. Like I said, we got filter media from other tanks and I am going to put the filter from the tank for the fish that are going in here in just a few minutes and let's go on and get these fish over here. So it's now time to put our fish in here. We moved our convicts out of the 55. Yeah, there's a little bit of a mess in there right now, but that will start to clean up as soon as both of these filters go. But let's give the filters some time to do what they're doing and come back and check on them. All right, y'all, we've gave a few hours for the fish to get more used to their new tank and so far they're doing great they're already coming up to the top ready for some food which they know it's about dinner time as it is because i know 
we always feed them whenever I get home from work and it's about that time. But these convicts definitely have a whole lot more room for them now. I mean, let's look at them things. Well, that's another tank we've added into our fish room over here. We're trying to get everything located out of the house to more suit what my needs and to help us out as far as maintenance and everything else. It's be a whole lot easier in here than trying to drag water hoses and everything to the house. And this is one of the first parts of it, but we still got several other tanks we're about to be doing too. We have this 125 right here. And then also we have this big 200 and we have this big monstrosity. Got to do a few things sip before it's up and ready to go, but it's gonna be a fun one. Thank all y'all for watching and hey, don't forget to comment below on what you think should go in these other tanks I just showed y'all a second ago. See what y'all's ideas are and we'll see where all that plays out. But y'all take it easy.